In the last few steps, we looked at block storage, we looked at file storage, and we looked at object storage. With all the storage services that we talked until now, all the data is stored in the cloud, in AWS. What if you'd want to go for hybrid storage? You want to store some data on the cloud and some data on premise. That's when you'd go for AWS Storage Gateway. AWS Storage Gateway provides you with unlimited cloud storage for on-premise store software applications and users. And it also provides you with really good performance. AWS Storage Gateway provides you with three different options. File Gateway, Tape Gateway, and Volume Gateway. What is File Gateway? Let's say you have a large on-premise file share with terabytes of data. User put files into this file share and applications use the files from the file share. And you see that managing it is becoming really, really expensive. You'd want to move the file share to the cloud without any performance impact. How can you do that? That's where you will go for AWS Storage File Gateway. AWS Storage File Gateway provides cloud storage for your file shares. The files which you store in AWS Storage Gateway are finally stored in Amazon S3 and Glacier. The next option is AWS Storage Tape Gateway. A lot of enterprises even today make use of tape backups. If they would want to archive something, they would take a tape backup. These tape backups are typically stored off-site and the process to take tape backups is expensive and also these tapes are subject to physical wear and tear. If you want to avoid taking tape backups, in those kind of situations, you can go for AWS Storage Tape Gateway. The great thing about AWS Storage Tape Gateway is that there is no change needed for your tape backup infrastructure. So using the same tape backup infrastructure that you are using currently, you can backup data to virtual tapes. And these virtual tapes will be stored in Amazon S3 and Glacier. So if you want to avoid physical tapes and still take tape backups using your existing tape backup infrastructure, in that kind of scenario, you can make use of AWS Storage Tape Gateway and take your tape backups to Amazon S3 and Glacier. The next type of storage gateway is AWS Storage Volume Gateway. This is hybrid block storage. This is cloud-backed iSCSI block storage volumes. Let's take an example. Let's say you have applications which are inside your corporate data center for which you would want to provide block storage. One of the popular protocols to talk to block storage is iSCSI. So your applications will think as if they are talking to some local block storage. But actually, when you are making use of AWS Storage Volume Gateway, the block storage is stored in AWS. You are storing your data either in S3 or in Elastic Block Store. There are two types of storage volume gateways. One is cached, the second one is stored. When you're making use of gateway cached volumes, the primary data store is AWS. So this is the primary data store, Amazon S3. Instead of retrieving all the data from S3, what we would do is we would have an on-premise cache. The frequently accessed data is cached on-premises. The alternative is stored. This is gateway stored volumes. In gateway stored volumes, the primary data store is on-premises. So this is the primary data store. Your applications will be directly talking to the primary data store and an asynchronous copy is made to AWS and this is stored as EBS snapshots. So if you'd want high performance, you'd want to store all the data on-premises. That's when you'd go for stored. If you are okay with good performance, you can go with cached. So whenever we are talking about AWS Storage Gateway, we are talking about hybrid storage. If you have file shares that you'd want to move to the cloud, you can go with AWS Storage File Gateway. If you want to take tape backups and you want to store them on the cloud, you can go with AWS Storage Tape Gateway. And if you want block storage volume backups on the cloud, you'd be going for AWS Storage Volume Gateway. If you want high performance, you'd go for stored. Otherwise, you can go for cached option. In this step, we looked at AWS Storage Gateway. I'm sure you're having a wonderful time and I'll see you in the next step.